Let's continue our language skills lesson. Please take out your red language skills packet and turn to page 291. The numbers 291 should be in the bottom corner. You should see a picture of a little girl with a bug on her nose. We're going to practice some reading today. We're going to be reading words that have a short U sound or a short E sound. Short U sounds like this. Uh, uh. Can you do that three times? Uh, uh, uh. Put your hand on your tummy when you make that sound. Uh, what do you notice? Does your tummy get really tense? That's because we make the U sound using our diaphragm, which is inside our stomach area. Short U sounds like this. Uh. We'll be reading a few words today with that sound. Then we'll also be reviewing the sound E, which sounds like this. Eh. Let's get started. What will we need to add in front of this word? Ug uh, to make it into bug. Which letter would we pick from our word bank? We would pick the letter B to make the word bug. Bug. What would we need to add in front of this word part eh to make it into get? We would need the letter G, 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 et, get. Which letter would we need to add in front of this word part, a, uh, g, to make it into jug? We would need the letter J, j, a, uh, g, jug. Nice reading. Now that we've completed those words, we're going to read these sentences and pick the best word to write on the handwriting line to make the sentence complete. Our choices are b a g bug, g a t get, and j a g jug. Let's read together. First sentence. Ready? Begin. Can she see the blank? Would it make the most sense to say, can she see the bug, can she see the get, or can she see the jug? Can she see the bug would make the most sense. Let's write bug on the handwriting line. B -a -g bug. Next sentence, let's read it together. Ready? Begin. Can she blank the pet. Can she get the pet or can she jug the pet? Get makes much more sense. Let's write the site word or the word get on the handwriting line. G -e -t -get. Last sentence. Read with me, please. Ready? Begin. Can the blank fit fit here? Can the blank fit here? Can the jug fit here? Write the word jug on the handwriting line. J -a -g, jug. Nice reading. Please dog ear fold down the top corner of this page so that it's ready for tomorrow. We're going to continue on the back. Go ahead and turn your page. We're going to practice reading some sight words and sentences together. These three sight words are sight words that we have learned in the past. Are, play, and she. Would you say those words with me? Are, play, she. We're going to use each word only once, so after we finish, we can cross off the word from the word bank. For numbers 1, 2, and 3, you're going to pick the sight word that belongs in the blank spot. For number 4, you're going to read the sentences and draw a picture to match. 
If you feel like you can do this without my help, please pause the video and go ahead and complete the page on your own. If you would like my help, keep the video playing and I'll read with you. Let's begin on number one. Let's read together. Ready? Begin. I can blank the h -e -n hen. Which word would make the most sense in that blank spot? What do you think? I can r the hen? No, that doesn't make sense. I can play the hen? Yes, that makes sense. It looks like this little kid is dressed up like a hen for a play. I can play the hen. Pull a p l a y play. We can cross it off from our word box now. We won't need it again. Let's read number two together. Ready? Read with me. Jan said blank can play the cat. Which word makes the most sense in that blank spot? Jan said R can play the cat. Or Jan said she can play the cat. She makes much more sense. Let's write the sight word chi on the handwriting line. S H E. She. She can play the cat. Let's work on number three. Read with me, please. Blank. D an dan and n an nan here. Blank dan and nan here. The last word we have is the sight word r with a capital A at the beginning. Would that make sense in this spot? R dan and nan here? Yes, that does make sense, especially because there's a capital letter. The first word in every sentence always starts with a capital letter the sight word R with a capital A on the handwriting line. Let's move on to number four. For number four, we're going to read the sentences together and then you need to draw a picture to match the sentences. Let's begin. Read with me, please. Ready? Dan can play the pig. pig. Nan can play the fox. Nice reading. Please draw a picture to match the sentences. Dan can play the pig. Nan can play the fox. When you're finished with your picture, you're all done with your language skills for today. Nice work. 